there's Yaya Tsore, and then there's Kolo Tsore. There's Tony Cruz, and then there's Felix Cruz. Now, here's Taylor Swift, and that's Austin Swift. And then, here's the Sauber Mercedes C9, and the Sauber Mercedes C11. You, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Contrary to most prize car autobiographies on the channel, I'm going to start with a personal story this time around. I've admitted to never watching a lot of motorsport growing up, and that is true, but Sauber Mercedes was always something I had a special affinity for, and oddly enough, that was due to my affection for the year 1989. Here's the thing, I've always loved the year 1989, as that was the year that released my favorite generation of Pontiac Firebird, as well as the birth year of my idol Thomas Müller. Coincidentally, the winner of the 1989-24 hour at Le Mans also happened to be from a manufacturer I've always loved growing up, as the car that won it was the record-breaking Sauber Mercedes C9. A car so mind-warpingly quick that it set the maximum speed record on the Mulzahn Strait during practice, hitting 248 miles per hour. The C9 also holds the second highest top speed record on the Mulzahn Strait during a race, hitting 241 miles per hour. These are records that will most likely be impossible to triumph after the additions of the two chicanes on the Mulzahn Strait as well. So, in summary, the Sauber Mercedes C9 broke records and made history as one of only two Mercedeses to ever win at Le Mans. So, I can only feel the amount of pressure given to the C9's successor, which happens to be our next prize car, the Sauber Mercedes C11. Cool, but not as cool as its older brother. Credit where it's due, however, the C11 did win 8 out of the 9 races during the 1990 World Prototype Championship. It had a carbon fiber body, as opposed to the C9's aluminum body, making it lighter, and it was hailed as incredibly easy to drive, very aerodynamic, and blisteringly quick. Unfortunately, it's unreliable, and technical issues held it back from ever regaining the crown at Le Mans for Mercedes. It ended 5th in 1991, and it didn't race again. So, introducing your next prize car, the Sauber Mercedes C11. Cool, but not that cool. <laughs> Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back, and welcome back to another episode of South Drives. And I have mixed feelings about this event, because, like, as many of you will know, if I told you what were my top 10 prize cars and top drives, if you took away the Camaro ZL11LE, the Mercedes Sauber C11 or the Sauber Mercedes C11 is second. I really, really want this prize car. Like, I really wanted the Hennessy and I really wanted the M5 Delimited. I would say that, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, both of those cars were around a 9. But for the Sauber, that's a 10. <laughs> so like a part of me really, really, really wants this car. It's not the C9, but the C11 is still, you know, it's cool. It's just not as cool. That's the, that's the entire thing about the car. Also, that's wrong. 230 miles per hour. Mercedes literally claims that the C11 can claim 248. So I don't know why it's 230 in that. But um, yeah, I really want it. But the only problem is the requirements. It's actually going to be like, you know, the Holden, like, you know, the epics only, that kind of stuff, and guys, I've spent a lot of ultra rares, okay, for the Hennessy, I spent a lot of ultra rares to upgrade stuff, for um, the, the Limited, I mean, the Hennessy was a long time ago, so we don't really count that, but for the M5 Delimited, and, you know, the Ultima, which I won back to back, I spent, you know, a decent amount of epics to max, you know, a decent amount of ultra rares to max epics to win those cars, you know, the Delimited, I, I maxed a couple, um, and then for the Ultima, I had to max two more epics from scratch, you know, the TZ3 Alphas, so, you know, this is a final where there are aren't even going to be any legendaries the first time ever at least the first time in many many years i don't have a lot of fused material left so although i really want this a part of me feels that i cannot get it and it's a pretty painful feeling um but you know what we'll give it my best shot i've already opened two of these packs 
and you know even with the boosted rates of epics you know usually it's 17 now it's like 22 percent or something like that even with the boosted rates i have not dropped a single epic and i can't believe that i'm actually going to open this elite because it's one of those updates where you know like you really don't want to open the pack there's nothing really good like besides the factor of you know oh new cars like outside of that there's nothing interesting <laughs> about this so you know like the saloons these these holden saloons they have good mra they are medium but their zero to 60s are really really bad i don't know how i feel about them i don't think they're terrible but i don't think they're very good i mean this is you know i'm the kind of person that would like not even bother to max the jaguar 575 because it's a mid-range epic and now we have low range i i don't know but i'm gonna open one so let's get it um it's a very very expensive pack at the end of the day at least we're getting new cars and like i said that's the only factor about this event you are getting new cars also by the way um I'm wearing, you know, obviously the, the, the Arsenal away kit because I'm recording this after that amazing 3-2 win against Aston Villa. What a freaking game that was. Everyone says that, oh, you know, the Arsenal game against uh, Man United is going to be the... At least I'm getting a, a bunch of Valiant Chargers. I'm happy about that. But yeah, everyone's saying like, oh, you know, the, the, the game against Man United, that's the one that's going to define your season. I disagree. I think that the game against Aston Villa yesterday, that is going to define our season. Because when you think about it, we had such, you know, we had such bad form and it's kind of funny the two teams i support obviously is arsenal and obviously my, my main one is Bayern munich they're they're both doing the impossible right now as in like arsenal's actually first and Bayern is second it's kind of crazy um but yeah anyway oh that's a cool one all right 49 that's a good one too i mean both of these are gonna be new starting with 58 i mean that's pretty good 58 i'll take that that's pretty good 59. Oh, I really wanted this actually. I genuinely really want this. Looks like a really, really good car. You know why? Because it's a purebred 59, as in like it's low ground clearance. There's nothing here to inflate its uh its stats. You know, like the, like the stats are genuinely 59. They ain't no four-wheel drive, they ain't no medium ground clearance, none of that. This is a purebred 59. Like I'm, I'm really happy. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. I'll take I will take that. I will take that. Alright, I think there's two more left. I would like to get two epics. We started well at 58, but I don't know, man. 22%. 60. 60. It really doesn't feel like 22%. It really doesn't feel like 22%. Yeah, 61, man. 61. Really? 22%? 22? 22? I don't know, man. It doesn't feel like it. I've opened five times carbon fibers that are way better than that in odds, man. I mean, there are a couple more over here as well. Should I just... I don't know. I mean, that was a good pack. That was a good pack. Like, I, I, like in terms of, like, the ultra rares that I got, I'm very, very happy with that. Let's let's add all of that real quick, right? So, we'll add you, we'll add you, and then I'll own one of those. That one's fine, too, but I already own one, and that's pretty decent, too. Is it one of the better handling ones? Not to say that there are a lot. And then we go into learn the Savannah way. I'm going to go into all cars. I mean, okay, so first of all, we did manage to skip all of this, so we went all the way up to 58. So, that was a good start. Um, We did, however, jump over the Fiji, which is a card that I think a lot of people genuinely want. I also really want the Territory Turbo. Would have been nice to get the HSV. Um, the highest card that we got ended up being a 61, actually. So the five cards that we got were literally in between three RQ. It was one, two, three, four, and five. Um, I mean, I have enough gold to open one more. And um, I have two options. I can either wait for the final or I can wait or I can just open a, another Elite over, uh, right now. I think I'll just go for another Elite right now because, like... You get 30k in 25 slots, so let's just go. That's all my gold! God, yay! How, how quickly? Whoever thought that I was going to spend the gold <laughs> on, on these elites? I mean, like, you can't even get legendaries from them, but you know what? I want to get the Sabre. I want to give it my best shot. As in, like, I'll just spend the gold that I have. If not, I'll be kicking myself in the foot, you know? Um, but, like, if I open all the packs and I don't get a single epic, then the odds of me getting the Sabre is basically zero. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. 46 is high. 48. I'm really... Yeah, I really wanted that. Uh, that's high. 49. There are a lot of 49 super rares. Uh. That's at least seven ultra rares. That's at least seven. <laughs> um, all right, well, those are the two free ultra rares. We got five more. 59. I'll take three. I will take three. I like that. Okay. Yo, that's huge. 
that's huge that's an insta max right there okay that's a good one too definitely a tomorrow killer i wouldn't mind if the rest of the pack was just this i think we're on four uh but there are three more cars because we got two extra ultra rares 60 um i think is there one is there one or two more one more all right <laughs> odds of getting an epic is pretty high now at least um but i gotta say one epic from 10 carbon fibers at 22 percent 22 percent that's one in five i should at least get two um but yeah all right i mean the odds are i might not even get an epic next it, it might just be another 64 but let's see 22 percent 22 20 22 22 22 percent you're kidding me 22 percent look man that pack wasn't bad it was seven ultra rares but 22 percent 22 percent my ass bro 22 percent my ass bro no way absolutely not oh dude that is no no ah no 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 that is youtuber drop rates right there okay you want to complain about youtube that's youtuber drop rates right there uh, my my one mil pack openings are better than that bro my one mil pack openings are legit better than that and i'm not gonna sell these either these are you know these are pretty cool cards i want to max out i'm gonna need a lot of uncommon to max those cards out i'll tell you that much i mean i'll show you my locks at least my lock to lock you know what let's think about uh, not lock to lock sorry vg if vg whatever it is um i mean okay let's think about the good news the good news is this the good news is this if there's no medium ground clearance in the final which you know uh there, there barely ever is but you know there, there might be one or two this time but if there's no medium ground clearance in the final right and we go into saloon that 59 is probably better than most of the 4583 right to 4780 to 4983 to 4883 <laughs> to 4885 i mean it does have a, a lower zero to 60 than most of these cars so that's that's pretty nice but um yeah and not not to mention i didn't even get these two wishes in cars um yeah i'm probably not going to win the sauber <laughs> probably get it the second time the thing is right like I'm, I'm not that that was it you know like there's the tune-up carbon fiber and then there's the event ending tonight so there's two more there i could get epics out of those but uh yeah i mean the big ones were those two um and i was going to open them regardless uh whether it was going to be jordan for one mil pack that, that's just uh, 10 20 percent 20 20 20 nah nah that's messed that's that's messed that is messed up all right anyway i hope you guys have a great day to stay safe wash your hands and uh yeah for everyone that has commented you want my luck down in the comments below you can have it you can have it you can take it anyway i hope you guys have a great day to stay safe wash your hands those are basically my summer chances gone <laughs> Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nifty, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nifty, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls everywhere with the drop that looks Swing it side to side as we slow dance to the night When I hold you